Hello, everyone. Welcome to the lecture series on health management. In the previous session, we discussed that the classical approach in management is divided into two subcategories. Number one, scientific management theories. And number two, general administrative theories. Another management theorist in this approach of general administrative theory is Max Weber. He was a German sociologist, philosopher, and political economist. He proposed the theory of bureaucratic management. He believed that bureaucracy is the most efficient and rational form of organizational structure for large-scale, complex organizations. Weber outlined that, Bureaucratic organizations divide tasks and responsibilities, ensuring efficiency and expertise in specific areas. Bureaucracies have a clear chain of command and a well-defined hierarchical structure where authority flows from top to bottom. Bureaucracies operate based on established rules, regulations, and standard operating procedures, that guide decision-making and behavior within the organization. Bureaucracies emphasize objective and impersonal interactions, where decisions are based on rules and principles rather than personal preferences or biases. Bureaucratic organizations provide long-term career opportunities for employees emphasizing stability and security Bureaucracies use formal criteria and qualifications for selecting and promoting employees based on their skills, qualifications, and performance. Weber believed that when properly implemented, bureaucracy can provide several benefits such as efficiency, predictability, accountability, accountability, and fairness. However, he also recognized the potential drawbacks of bureaucracy, including the risk of excessive red tape inflexibility and the potential for alienation and dehumanization of employees. In short, we can say that different managers have different schools of thought. Gilbreth's and Taylor's theories are scientific. Henry Fayol's theory is administrative. Max Weber's theory is bureaucratic.